What's up guys, David here for a quick little video. Today we're going to talk about something that recently happened in the automotive industry that might have a really big impact or it just might not have an impact at all. And what we're going to be talking about today is the death of Scion, the brand by Toyota that was youth oriented to try and get more youthful buyers into the Toyota brand due to they're having an older kind of class of person buy all their cars. The history of Scion is a little interesting because they came out with a few cars at first that one was super kind of original and the other one was just there. It wasn't really that exciting. There's a bunch of reasons why Scion in my opinion failed as a brand and here's a few of them. One, it was supposed to be a brand for the youth which means a brand to kind of experiment with. Are our cars cooler or not so cool? Okay, this idea doesn't work so let's try something else. But they never tried anything else. You know, when the XB first came out, it was like a little toaster. You know, you could do anything to this boxy car. And it had a very Japanese flair to it. But then you had another car called the XA. And the XA was quite literally a rebadged Toyota that brought nothing to the table. It wasn't a crossover. It wasn't a sedan. It wasn't anything. And then the Scion TC came out. Things got a little bit better. Their sales peaked in 2006 for the entire brand. But that's the last time they had really good sales. 2006. I was four foot eight freshman year of high school in 2006. That is a very long time ago. And if you're telling me that your brand never grew that much, it kind of shows that they just didn't really care. They did answer a lot of enthusiasts with the FRS. Now the FRS, of course, we know is the BRZ's twin. And essentially the same car. But at the same time, People didn't like that it was called a Scion in the United States because the rest of the brand was just there. It was kind of boring overall. It's kind of sad because Scion had some elements that were really cool and sometimes not so cool. But I remember one day a friend of mine was looking for a first car. This is back when I was in high school. This is probably 2008. And he walked in and they even offered like a centrifugal supercharger setup for the Scion TC from factory like that could have been an option you came to the dealership and they would install that that's pretty unheard of i mean some other brands have supercharger packages but you know coming out of toyota which was kind of a boring-esque brand at the time they mostly built cars just to get you from a to b it's what they're very good at but you know seeing that was really cool i never saw a tc with that supercharger kit on it not one time i met a few people who boosted them but the platform itself just couldn't perform because all it did was spin. And I might be proven wrong by some people watching this video, but most people I encountered, they had horrendous traction issues. And so Scion never really had a definite sports car until the FRS. My first encounter with Scion was in Potomac Mills. It's a mall in Northern Virginia. There was Van Skate Park. Not to be telling you my life story, but I was going to Van Skate Park there, which is now closed. And as soon as I walked out of there in the mall was a Scion XB. And I looked at it, and this is back in 2003. And my dad goes, that thing looks ugly. And I'm over here going, I don't know. Maybe it's kind of cool. It has some personality to it. But then I just kind of, you know, grew out of it. They didn't do anything different, and then they tamed it when they curved it up. And from there, I feel like that's when things started to go south, was when they kind of just didn't care or they played it safe. One of the two. And come to think of it, their buyers were not even teens most of the time. They were somewhere in their 30s a lot of the times in their demographic. So that didn't work either. What Toyota is doing is that they're taking the Scion brand and they're just getting making it go away and they're rebadging all the cars as Toyotas which most of us would do anyway people take the FRS in the United States all the time and convert them into the GT86 in Europe and Japan and they put the Toyota badges on there instead I mean that just shows how much we didn't care about Scion in the automotive world for the most part they had some great PR at Formula Drift events and stuff like that I always enjoy talking to them I had nothing against Scion you could get options like you know LED light inside. Uh, there was one TC a friend of mine had in high school named Jared. He had the fluorescent flames on his, you know, like they did a bunch of wacky stuff at first. You could kind of see this coming. I mean, we saw this with brands like Saturn and Pontiac and Saturn and Pontiac felt like they were just 
there. Like, they didn't bring hardly anything new to the table. They felt like rebadged Chevys or rebadged whatever American GM car. And that's what Scion, unfortunately, kind of turned into. And all of us kind of looked at each other and going, why didn't we just badge the FRS as a Toyota? Because it would have given the brand some strength. Now, this is going to be a little bit of a tangent, but Toyota as a company, dude, I love you. But your cars, for the most part, don't appeal to the enthusiast that much right now. The only car Toyota has is the FRS. And the FT1 is something all of us are looking forward to, aka the new Supra, you know what I mean. I saw the FT1 in SEMA in 2014, but then I went back to SEMA in 2015, and it wasn't there. Why? And it wasn't even at the Geneva Auto Show last year. No FT1. No FT1. How Why? Is that even possible? Toyota, make cooler cars. That is kind of shocking, and people want Toyota to build new sports cars. We all know what happens when Toyota builds sports cars. It's great. It's fantastic. Motors like the 1JZ, 2JZ, those things come out of Toyota's over-engineering. And that's why their A to B cars are so reliable too, because they're pretty much over-engineered. When people ask me, am I surprised that Scion died? I'm not surprised at all. And it's not that I had anything against them. It's just, it doesn't feel like a big impact to the industry. It doesn't feel like if like Ford or GM or Honda or any of those brands just had to go. Like that it doesn't have the impact like that. It was just a tiny little sub brand that promised something but came out boring. And it's sad, it is sad, but we all move on. And I'm wondering if they're gonna do anything for those cars under the Toyota name. So I just wanted to open a conversation. What do you guys think about the Scion brand dying off? It's gonna be a great conversation in the comments below. Make sure to subscribe if you like this video and I'll see you guys next time and take it easy. Have a fantastic day.